we were used to robots uh, getting stuck with uh, pallets which were broken or if you didn't have good lighting we there we had worked with nvidia to bring in this uh, latest hardware and software technologies to recognize uh, all kinds of pallets which drastically improved the hit rate or the success rate of pallets uh, working in a uh, in a normal uh, warehouse and a normal retail uh, shop versus how um, uh, traditional pallet jacks were working before. I, mean, I, I think the problem is extremely challenging as you can imagine. Getting to 99% accuracy is not enough in these spaces. So what we've been trying to do is bring this latest hardware software technologies using simulation to test develop and test this in a much faster and safer way. And then once we test it in simulation, we are able to put that onto the robot, onto the AMR, and then do a quick, quick deployment. So that whole process of building and testing in simulation and then deploying in the real robot is speeding up the whole development process by an order of magnitude. And that's why we think that we are at the cusp of solving some of these hard, unstructured problems. And in last um, 18 months of uh, developing these foundation models, now we have knowledge base of so many different kinds of manufacturing conditions and warehouse conditions. This will be very valuable to the robotics world in general. It, it does not change. So it is the same UR20 on uh, um, uh, MC600. So our um, mere uh, 600 kgs. You sometimes, if you want a very high reach, you do need to be a bit careful about uh, center of gravity, but it's the same payload. We have seen our customers getting very creative around how they are using pallet jacks along with a mobile cobot. They use these, for example, in a pallet application, they use this mobile cobot uh, to pick up a lot of boxes, store it there, and then hand it over to a pallet jack to move the whole pallet from point A to point B. So it just gives you one more hybrid worker in the mix. So as I see it, you look at collaborative robot, they are in a cell doing a bunch of work and storing it uh, in a in a box mobile cobot can take those boxes move it to a different location uh, for pal uh, for palletizing and the pallet jack moves those pallets from point a to point b so it gives you different worker uh, options to optimize your uh, factory flow differently and we are br bringing in the latest of AI technologies working collaboratively with NVIDIA in each of these different off offerings to add value for the customer uh, at the factory level. And I'll again reiterate that simulation capability to have all these different uh, robotic solutions pre-programmed, pre-tested before you press the button to de deploy is the biggest game changer for the manufacturing world like and that has drastically decreased the time for deployment and redeployment yeah that's right i think there's two fundamental technologies that have reached tipping point in the last 12 months one is simulation that's enabling us to do you know large scale fast accurate testing before you even deploy it and then number two of course generative ai in the form of physical ai is new wave of foundation models that are coming into this robotics world. Com combining both of these new AI models in simulation is really turbocharging the development process.